Hello. This tutorial shows you how to create your company structure in Call to PBX. You run a small business, in this instance a translation and language services company. You can set up your PBX to match your company structure and geographical location. Your company is situated in the UK and has three branches Birmingham, Manchester and London and four departments the Directorate, Marketing and Sales, HR and Finance and Lang Translation and Language Services. These are spread across different geographical locations. In the PBX, a company account would be typically divided into sub-accounts, for example City 1 with divisions, City 2 with its divisions, and City 3 with its divisions. Each branch would have its own prefix number. The divisions are organized by prefix groups with an extension number. For example, City 1 with a branch prefix of 11 and Division 1 with the users and their branch prefix and extension numbers, etc. The PBX can match your company structure in the way you wish, as you can see in this example. Let's set up our company structure in the PBX system. First, log in to the PBX system. Input your login and password. And click Login. The PBX interface is intuitive and straightforward to use. Here we can see the dashboard. The menu items are on the left of the screen. In the centre is the module. We need to do three things to create our company PBX structure. One, create a branch structure. Two, create a company structure and 3. Create users. First, create our company's branch structure. Click on the company menu item. The company module will open. There are two tabs, branch and company structure. Choose the branch tab. Two branches have already been created in the root of the company structure. Let's create another branch. Decide where the branch exists in your company structure. If it is a branch or a sub-branch. If it is a branch, create it in the root of the company. If it is a sub-branch, choose the branch and create the sub-branch under that particular branch. Our company has no sub-branches, so we will create our branch in the root of the company. The Birmingham and London branches have already been created. Now let's create the Manchester branch. Click on the Create New icon. Input the name of the branch. The branch prefix is automatically assigned and input the address of the branch. Click on the Save icon and our branch appears on the left. Repeat this procedure for any new branches. You can add new branches at any time. Our branches have been created. 
Now we need to create our company's division structure or departments. Go to the Company Structure tab. Three divisions have already been created. Let's create a fourth division. Once again, this will be in the root of the company structure. Subdivisions need to be created underneath a particular division. Click the Create New icon. Input the name of our division, in this case, Translation and Language Services. Click on the Save icon. And our new division appears on the left. Our branches and company divisions are created. Now we need to create company staff members, or users, and assign them to the appropriate branches and divisions. Click on the Users menu item to the left. The Users module appears on the screen. There are three tabs, the User Editor, User Chart and User Import. Some users have already been created. Let's create another. Click on the Create New icon. In the User Editor there are four collapsible tabs. General, Credentials, Extensions and Structure. Go to the General tab. Input our users' names. the first name and the last name. You can add an avatar to the user if you wish. Next go to the Credentials tab. Input the user login and password. And you can put the user's email address here as well. And set the number of rings. Assign the user to the company structure. The branch and the division. And click Save. 